Alright, this is the way to uh, adjust the output capacitor voltage. Uh, okay, let's turn it on. And we can just hold the button. Let it go. It's a little overcharged. I'm looking for about 165 to 170. So I could destroy it by touching this 15K. And uh, let's stabilize. Bring it back up. Just tap in the button. And that's approximately what I'm looking for. And that's it. Set at 170. It's stable right now. And if you do have to bring it down, this 15k resistor or even a 1k resistor will do. And. Uh, you don't want to hit the leads together and damage the uh, alligator clips. If you look here, I, well, it's discharged. I don't want to put my hand on it while it's charged. I'm right, bringing it down to uh, pretty low here. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost zero. All right. What I do is I solder these uh, washers on here. I made them as flat as I can, and it's, it's pretty flat. You want to get the uh, wire on as uh, let's see if I get this. You want to get the wire on at your here. This one here I tacked already. Worked out pretty good. And you want to get it flat. And you want to make it as short and as tight as possible because this is critical in a good weld. If you can see that, but it's uh, that's it. And when you do weld with the other end, you want to get the wire to overlap. You don't want to tack the tips or the ends, so let me get as short as possible and as tight as possible. Yeah, what you want to do is here. I don't know if you can see with the camera here, but you want to overlap it on top of each other. You don't want to tap the ends. You're not going to get a good weld. You want to just place it right side by side, adjacent to, and that's it. That'll, that'll make a good weld. I find with 32 uh, gauge wire, 165 to 170 is a good voltage. That's it.